The biggest question, though, that it seems like people have is why does your vaccine require less cold storage than Pfizer, key to distribution? Yes, good morning, and thank you for having me. I think it goes back to the fact that we have been working on mRNA vaccines for more than five years. This is the 10th vaccine that we have been running a clinical trial on. The other vaccine that you mentioned, it's the first time that they are doing uh, an infectious disease vaccine. And so over the years, we've invested heavily in science, in process development that allows us now to have a much better storage condition than what we used to have you know, five years ago. Stefan, this is really important because it's going to have a huge impact on distribution. How much of an effect will that stability at a higher temperature have in everybody's ability to be able to get hold of this vaccine? I think it's a huge impact. Uh, we're going to have a vaccine stored at minus 20 between our factory and the big distribution centers. And those are able to handle that type of product because they're already product approved by the EMEA in Europe, MHR in the UK or FDA in the US at minus 20 Celsius. But what is very important with today's news is we can now for up to 30 days have a vaccine stored in a regular fridge at two to eight Celsius, like you do insulin. And as you know, every pharmacy, uh, you know, doctor's office, hospital has that capability. So we think it's a very important game changer. The other piece too, to keep in mind is our vaccine does not require dilution. Uh, the other vaccine that you mentioned requires dilution at the site. So you take the vaccine out and you need to dilute it. It's an extra step. What we have to do to get the world back to normal is a massive vaccination campaign that has never really happened before. And so every time we're gonna be wasting doing these type of things for our product is gonna be an issue. And so we think that between the fridge condition storage and the fact that we do not require any dilution on site, that's going to be a big advantage for nurses and doctors to be able to provide those vaccines quickly to the population who wants it. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.